Good morning. Thank you. The meeting later this morning with Marjorie Taylor Greene. What is your message to her? And previously, she had said that she would move to vacate the chair if you put a Ukraine aid bill on the floor. We haven't seen Biden or hair of that bill yet. Is that part of this conversation? Well, on the supplemental, the, the House members are continuing to actively discuss her options on a path forward. There are a lot of different ideas on that, as you know. It's a very complicated matter at a very complicated time. Uh, and uh, the clock is ticking on it, and everyone here feels the urgency of that. But um, what's required is that you reach consensus on it, and that's what we're working on. With regard to, to Marjorie Taylor Greene, she's a colleague. I've always considered her a friend. Marjorie and I don't disagree, I don't, I don't think, on any matter of uh, philosophy. Um, we're both conservatives, you know, but uh, we do disagree sometimes on, on strategy and uh, with regard to what we put on the floor and when and those things. And Marjorie is um, – is frustrated by the last uh, appropriations package, the spending bills, and you know what? So am I. I mean, here's the reality that we have to remind everybody, and you all know in the room because you're here every day, but some people back home don't realize, we have the smallest majority in U.S. history. We've got a one-vote margin right now. Um, this is an historic moment. There's never been anything like this. And at the same time, uh, we, Republicans, only have that majority in one house. We don't have it in the Senate, obviously, where Chuck Schumer and the Democrats are in charge, and we obviously – don't have the White House right now. That's a Democrat there, too. So we are not going to get, because of that reality, we are not going to be able to do big transformational changes that, that we'd like, that we know are necessary. And, for example, the budgeting and spending, we're, we're not going to get all of our priorities. We will never get 100 percent of what we want and believe is necessary for the country because that's the reality. It's a math. It's a, it's a matter of math in, in, the, in the Congress. Uh, the numbers, the votes that are available. And so uh, it, it doesn't serve our interest, I didn't think, to not fund the government and shut it down at this critical time because imagine a scenario where Border Patrol agents aren't being paid, uh, TSA agents aren't being paid, flights start getting canceled, we're not paying the troops. You know, all the things that the government does would come to a grinding halt. That would put a lot of pressure on the American people, the American economy, at a very desperate time. We can't have large sections of the border being totally unpatrolled. Some of them are right now. We can't not pay Border Patrol agents. So that just wasn't an option. And I don't think that would be helpful to us from a political standpoint for the Republican Party to continue to govern, to maintain, keep, and then grow our majority in November. I thought that would have been a great hindrance to it. Uh, and, and so that wouldn't be helpful, and nor, nor does the motion to vacate uh, uh, help us in that regard either. It would be chaos in the House. So um, Marjorie and I are, are uh, going to visit uh, later today and um, look forward to the conversation. And I'm, I'm not going to discuss it anymore. I'm going to discuss it with you all. I'll discuss it with her. She 